As we get older, we're introduced to larger and larger numbers. We first learn to count to ten, then twenty, then maybe a hundred. Then we learn about a thousand, then thousands, then a million, then a billion, then a trillion. But it kind of stops there for most people. I mean, the number line certainly doesn't stop there, but we don't really use numbers higher than a trillion all that often. At a personal level, anyway. As our civilization has grown, we've had need of higher numbers than a trillion to contemplate our universe. So maybe you've wondered, what comes after a trillion? Well, the answer to that question, believe it or not, is a trillion and one. But past 999 trillion, 999 billion, 999 million, 999,999, we reach one quadrillion. With five groups of zeros and four groups of zeros more than a thousand, just like a quadrilateral has four sides. Add three more zeros and we get a quintillion, then a sextillion, then a septillion, then octillion, then nonillion, and a one followed by thirty-three zeros is a decillion. They sound like difficult names, but really all it takes is the ability to count in Latin. Latin has a unique and beautiful ability to make simple things seem very complicated. For example, in septillion, septum means just seven in Latin. And septillion has seven more sets of zeros than a thousand. In quindecillion, which has fifteen more sets of zeros than one thousand, quindecum just means fifteen. To put these numbers to use, the Milky Way galaxy is about a quintillion kilometers long. That's 600 quadrillion miles. There are about one octillion atoms in the average human body. 10 billion years is 315 quadrillion seconds long. And the Earth weighs about 6 septillion kilograms. That's 13 octillion pounds. Although the Latin numbers don't ride with us through all of our numbers in our adventure in the number line, what would be ten duo trigantillion, a thousand followed by ninety-six zeros, is just called a Google. So what's the biggest number called? Well, that's an impossible question. Take any number you can think of, and you can add one to it. Mathematicians call this concept of endlessness on the number line infinity, which is also a Latin word from infinitum. For more videos on mathematics, science, and much more, I would invite you to check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you for watching.